Lesson 2.3 Important Events Technology and Industry So fast forward a few more years from where we left off to the 1830s. Another important change is happening in the way people get their news and information in the 1830s. By this time, printing presses like the one Johannes Gutenberg had invented had been improved greatly and papers and books could be printed in greater number for less cost than ever before. Before the 1830s, it was still rather expensive for the average American to afford a book or a newspaper. And these things were mostly read by the upper class of society only. But because of these technological advances in printing, short newspapers with the day's news could be affordable to anyone at just the cost of a penny. For the first time, the working classes and the poor could afford to know the day's news too. These papers became known as the penny press, and more people than ever before in history were now reading the same news and keeping up to date on the important events going on together. But the penny press didn't come without its problems. In order to keep the papers so inexpensive so that more people could read them, the people publishing these papers had to rely heavily on the sale of advertisements. The publishers sold as many advertisements as they could and packed them into the paper in order to make money. The need to sell ads and make money made those publishing the paper have to worry as much about making the companies they sell ads to happy as they worried about telling the important stories and so many papers had to compromise. Now the people advertising in these newspapers wanted as many people as possible to read the papers and see their ads so they demanded that the newspapers print more articles that were purely entertaining or eye-catching like stories about murders, strange crimes, and love affairs instead of the, meat, the more important news of the day. In fact, out of a desire to sell more papers to make advertisers happy, the first comic strip ever was published, called The Yellow Kid. This comic was so popular with the masses buying the paper that this entire era in journalism history became known as the era of yellow journalism, or the era when hard, important news stories were partially pushed out of newspapers in favor of more entertaining, sensational stories that simply grabbed people's attention so that they would buy more papers and the papers could keep their advertisers happy. The two men most responsible for this shift from journalism as a voice of truth in a democracy to journalism as a big business about making money were Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst, who we'll talk about more later. The changes to the industry that these men helped make are still in effect today and affect most of what you see, hear, and read from all sorts of media outlets from your local newspaper to national news net networks. We'll talk about what this means for you as a journalist later as well when we discuss journalism ethics. Finally, the pattern of constant technological innovation from the invention of the printing press to its improvement continues to this day with bigger and better printing presses as well as new mediums for getting news across. Some of the important innovations that change the way we get our news and information are worth checking out and doing some research on your own. But the invention of the radio, the television, and even the internet and social media have all had huge impacts on the journalism industry today. Each of these pieces of technology were so instrumental and so game-changing that they fundamentally changed the way journalism works today. It's important to think about how the introduction of sound or, or moving images can affect the way we see, hear, and understand news. They're very powerful tools, and journalism is a very powerful industry.